Hi everyone! So I've got another collaboration video today but this time it's a British collaboration. So this is Amy from Nail Polish Baby 90 and George at Georgie's Nails 83. So the three of us are going to show you our best of British nail polish. And this was a little bit of a challenge because it's the top five only and I had to swap them in and out and in and out. Um, yeah, it took quite a while to narrow it down to my top five UK nail polishes. Now they can be either mainstream UK brands or UK indies or a combination of both and I've actually got a combination of both. So let's make a start. But before I do, I just wanted to show you what's on my nails. This is from the Me Box and this is I Love You Honey Bunny and it's a beautiful one coat purple linear holographic and I absolutely love it. It almost made the top five, but I'll explain why it didn't. <laughs> and plus it's new, so I need to kind of get used to it a little bit. But I love this, and I love this brand. So let's start with this one then. So this is Arda's Nails, one of my top five. And Arda's Nails is a UK indie brand. It's from the company Soap Dodger. And this is Arda's Nails... Galantis and this came from the Oh So Shifty collection which you can find on my channel and actually George won my giveaway, my 1000 giveaway where I sent some of the second part of the Arda's Nails Oh So Shifty. This one is absolutely beautiful, it's a, it's a kind of metallic colour shifting linear holographic shimmers there's just absolutely everything in there and it goes from like a reddish brown to a purple uh there's just it's like a kind of multi-chrome effect so let's have a look on the swatch wheel so i can show you why i've chosen these as my top five best of british I just absolutely love this shape. The entire Oh So Shifty collection I was impressed with. But this one in particular just really stood out to me. So it's that kind of russet red brown. But it shifts into green, purple, all different types of shades. Plus it's got that scattered and linear holographic effect. And I just absolutely love this polish. So this was my favourite from the collection. This is Galantis from Arda's Nails. So that's my first one up. And then let's go to mainstream. This here, so Barry M is a standard high street mainstream brand we get we can get them from boots superdrug there's a big tesco near me where i can get they've got a beauty section and they do have barry m nail polishes there and they really push the boat out for a mainstream brand i mean they're like i think they're around th three four pounds four four ninety nine three ninety nine and this is from the molten metal collection the first molten metal collection that they brought out i wasn't that impressed they were quite smeary there was lots of you know removal wasn't fantastic and then they came out with this second molten metal collection which had these linear holographic um polishes and i didn't get all of them but i did pick this one up in the first instance it was to compare it to the essence silver holographic from these out of space stories collection and the reason that I prefer this one to the Essence, although the Essence is fantastic for the price, is this one has got some silver flakes in as well as the holographic. So I'll show you. And for the price, for High Street, this is a beautiful hollow polish. And you can see with the Barry M, they have the great, you know, applications, fab fabulous. They've got these nice, wide, flat brushes. Um, yeah, so that's one coat. Let's see if I can get a decent 
um, what's the word? Focus. <laughs> there you go, focus, Claire. Uh, yeah, look at that. That's incredible. And it's also got these extra flakes in there. But yeah, just amazing for a high street brand. There you go, you can see the linear there in both of them. So that is, and this one's called Holographic Lights. So this represents Barry M as a whole, and I will be doing an updated Barry M collection video. Somebody had asked me to do, to go through my Barry M's again. And so yeah, I've done a D stash and I've got some more Barry M's in the collection. So it needs to be looked at again, really, and reorganised. But yeah, so that's Barry M. Very impressed that we, yeah, I'm, I'm just so glad that we have this as a brand because we can't get hold of things like sinful colors very easily um so yeah this this kind of and we also have damson from barry m which to me is a dupe for pacific blue and the next one up here this is a fairly new addition to my collection and this is dragon from a england yes this is a beautiful green it's got like a gold property to it as well there's a gold shift in there oh and it's just beautiful the application is amazing it's a beautiful color the formula is great on all of these five and um this was sent to me by amanda the nail polish hound it's just that type of dusky dark green that I absolutely love I mean I love all greens you know that but this one is just perfection so this had to go into the best of British for me beautiful um yeah I could wait if I only ever wore one nail polish for the rest of my life this one would be a contender definitely And these really, these three just represent the entire brand. You know, there's nothing that I don't like about Ardis Nails. Barry M is a good, solid brand. And A England, just perfection in terms of their formulas. And then the next one may surprise you because it's a red. <laughs> but this, and I don't really wear reds very often, but when I want a decent red, this is the red that I reach for. And this is a UK Indie. Pretty Perfect Polish and this is Dorothy's Slipper. Now Pretty Perfect Polish you will remember me mentioning is available or will be available very soon in the US so she's starting to ship over to the US and this is a kind of pinky based red but it's very bright it's a very kind of yes it goes on in one to two coats and it's a really bright, bright cherry red, I would say. Maybe even brighter than a cherry red. But you can see that sparkle inside. It's just kind of like captured the sparkle in there. So if you want to wear a red with a little bit of extra oomph, this Dorothy slipper, I'm trying to get... up close so you can see there all of that sparkle captured inside it's absolutely beautiful gorgeous gorgeous red so that's Dorothy's slipper from pretty perfect polish love this one and I surprised myself that a red managed to make it into the the top five Now this won't surprise many people who've been watching my channel for a while. One of my favourite indie brands is Polish Me Royalty. Now I know Sarah's been quiet for a while. I think she's going to be relaunching soon. But fingers crossed anyway because she does some fabulous polishes um, and some brilliant collections. But this is Revenge. It's similar to what I'm wearing but a little bit darker. And there's just a little bit of extra depth and this was my first ever holographic polish. So I wasn't really that into holographic. I was just stuck to my creams and shimmers. 
and then I branched out and thought, okay, I'm going to try one of these holographics that everyone's going crazy over. Um, and I ordered this from Polish Me Royalty. And the picture of it that I put on Instagram, Sarah liked it so much that she asked me to start swatching for her. So this is the kind of polish that started the relationship with, with uh, Polish Me Royalty and my friendship with Sarah. And I just love it. I love it. So you can see the difference there. It is a little bit darker than the Arda's Nails that I'm wearing. This one's got a little bit more linear and this one is more... It's got linear but it's also scattered. It's just packed. Um, and it's slightly deeper. But I absolutely love Revenge. So they are my top five best of British UK nail polishes, indie and mainstream, and wow, was it a tricky one trying to get it down to the five. So I am looking forward to finding out what George's and Amy's choices are. That'll be interesting. Um, I know there are lots more UK brands. I know that Ciate is a UK brand. Um, yeah, I'm trying to think of others now, but there are other UK brands. But for me, in my collection, these are the five that made it. So, yeah, I will leave links to Amy's and George's channels down below. Please check them out. Let me know in the comments what your favourite UK indie brand polishes are, or if you have a, a favourite, or your top five. And hope you've enjoyed this, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.